welcome to camzone my video channel which is entirely based on the teaching and learning chemistry first of all i would like to thank all my subscribers who are listening to my video in this video certain concepts that has been explained in class 9th igcse board have been discussed doubt session has been taken it is very very useful for the students who are appearing for the class 9th igcsc it clears all the basic fundamentals of chemistry if you have any doubt you may please uh, send your query at my whatsapp number given in the youtube only so let us start the class thank you so following example is of redox reaction do you know what is the meaning of the redox reaction yeah uh it's either loss of oxygen or gain of electrons the reaction in which uh, oxidation and reduction both to both take place okay one one element lose electron and other element gain electron right okay yes sir so bromine water was added to aqueous sodium sulfide describe what would you observe when this reaction occurs okay so what would you observe bromine is you can say it's Bro. oxidation number 0 and it is br negative means minus 1 sulfide okay. ion is minus 2 charge now it is 0 i can say the yes. bromine is getting reduced okay because gain of electron and yes, uh, sulfide ion from minus 2 to 0 this is a process of oxidation getting me okay sir yes so uh the bromine color the bromine water color reddish brown color that will disappear okay so first observation will be a reddish brown color of uh, br2 will okay. will will disappear right yes sir and uh, yeah that to that is our observation right and number 2 yes. this uh, sulfur solid will deposit at the bottom okay solid sulfur okay will be deposited okay Are you getting me? What color is the sulfur? Yes, what is the color? Color is yellow color. Yellow. Okay. Write simple equation for this reaction. Simple equation is already given to you. Word yeah. equation. They should written here. Sim. Uh, word equation. S simple equation okay. is already given to you. So you can write yes, here sir. bromine plus sulfide ion. So in the question it says uh, bromine water was added to aqueous yeah, sodium so sulfide. So I think we have to react it with. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, sodium. Sulfide. Okay, so bromine water bromine is Br two. with sodium okay. uh, sodium sulfide is na2s this will form here two okay. moles of the sodium bromide and uh, sulfur that's it okay right yes sir explain in terms of electron transfer why bromine is an oxidant oxidant means oxidizing agent you can see the br2 is changing into br negative ion it means br bromine is gaining electron okay right is gaining electron yes sir so br plus electron to give here br negative ion this br is getting reduced it means it is oxidizing the other element it is gaining electron okay it is gaining electron it means there must be some other element that is losing electron and giving it to the bromine so this bromine is okay. oxidizing the other element other element here is a sulfide ion so bromine okay. is uh, bromine is oxidizing 
सल्फाइड आइन बाय गेनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन सॉरी ओके सर एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज ए ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट आल्सो नॉट एज एन ऑक्सीडेंट आयरन एंड स्टील इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वाटर फॉर्म्स ए रस्ट आई हैव नॉट टेकन अप द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर शीट सो गिव मी गिव मी द क्वेश्चन is this is this question clear yes i understood <coughs> sorry so you are showing me here um the question the reaction involved are these right yes sir and yeah. now basically show me the question what is the actual question is there next page show me okay. the next page stop yes. stop 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 okay what type of reaction is reaction 1 oh i need to see the reaction also uh, uh. Uh, take you can take a picture of this and uh, yeah. I can move down. You can take yes, another yes, picture. Yes, 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 yes. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Let me save it first. Yes, Okay now give the second one Okay sir Up up Give the question bank question part Uh this is the question Yeah the question uh that reaction Statement the detail that is given about it Okay Yeah 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 this one Okay I had taken the okay. sheet. Okay. I'm now sharing my screen uh, with you. Okay, sir. You show the question only, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Okay, I have shared my screen with you now. And uh, Okay. Five six. What type of reaction is reaction one? You can see this is the reaction one. Uh, sir, I can't see your okay. like I can't see the question. I have shared my screen. Can you see my screen first? Uh, it's loading. Yes, sir, I can see. Yeah. So the question is with you. Number one question, right? Yes, sir. You can say this reaction number one is basically an oxidation half reaction. Uh, yes, sir. Right. So it is an oxidation reaction. The first question answer is oxidation reaction. It is an oxidation reaction. Okay. Second part is deduce the name of the colorless gas mentioned in reaction one. A reaction one in the reaction we don't have any gas. Okay, the electron moves uh, through the iron onto the hydrogen, where colorless gas is formed. So it is the oh yes, uh, hydrogen get reduced. So it is the H two gas is formed. Water that is okay. in the presence of water that gains electron and become hydrogen. So the second answer is hydrogen gas. Okay. H two gas. 
name the what is the name of the iron compound formed in reaction 2 reaction 2 is the it is a ferrous hydroxide or iron hydroxide okay <coughs> right yes sir and um, the fourth part balance the equation in reaction 3 can you balance it yourself uh, yes sir one yeah. second Okay, uh, it's four and then two and four. This way? Yes. By this way, you'll get the f eight which here. It is uh, not, no, it's not balanced. <coughs> uh. Try it yourself, right? Yes, sir. I'm coming to fifth question. Why explain okay, why the change Fe to this is oxidation? See, in case of the Fe OH hole twice, the iron is in the plus two state, right? Yes, sir. And the product Fe OH hole thrice, it's the iron in the plus three state, and it is losing electron, and the loss of electron is called as oxidation Oxid right yes sir. loss of electron is called oxidation why iron in electrical contact the piece of zinc does not rust see this is a iron here if you coat okay. it if you coat it with zinc then the iron will not rust because zinc is more reactive than iron okay iron is more reactive than zinc is more reactive than iron so in place of, instead of uh, iron zinc will be oxidized Okay. And this is called as a sacrificial protection for the prevention of corrosion. Okay, sir. I think we discussed this in our basic syllabus. Yes, sir. Right? This is sir, the. For, uh, yes, sir. For. 5. Uh, explain why FeOH2 to FeOH3 is oxidation. Uh, why can't we say uh, it's gaining oxygen? In terms of the electron transfer, I will explain here. If you find the oxidation number of iron here is X, you know the OH ion is minus 1 charge? Yes, sir. So it is equal to neutral 0. So X is equal to plus 2 charge here. And okay, in case of uh, this Fe OH hole thrice, this is the x yes. minus 1 into 3 is equal to 0. Yes. Sir. Or I can say x is equal to plus 3, right? Yes, sir. So, so ferrous sign is converting to Fe3 positive ion, ferric ion. And it is possible only with the loss of electron. Okay, sir. And loss of electron is called as oxidation in terms of electron transfer. Okay. <coughs> right? Yes, sir. Any doubt now? No, sir. Okay. <coughs> now you show me your another question. 
Yes, sir. Okay, wait. <coughs> I have copied. I'll now share my screen with you. Yes, sir. Butte one in is a typical alkene. It has the structural formula as shown below. The structural formula of the cyclobutane is given below here. These are two hydrocarbons or isomers. Isomers means same molecular formula, right? Isomers yeah. means uh, compounds. having same molecular formula but different structural formula okay sir are called isomers right yes sir draw the structural formula of but 1 in see the but 1 in is given like this Yes, sir. And now another isomer possible is if you make a double bond in the center. This is a but two in. Yes, sir. It is a position isomer, structural isomer, but two in. You can make one more. Keep the double bond same position and go for the branching. Okay. It is uh, commonly called as an isobutene. On the IUPAC nomenclature, it is called as a two-methyl two propene. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Right. <coughs> Should I proceed ahead now? Uh, one second, sir. Okay. Okay, I'll share the next question. Okay. <coughs> Describe test which can distinguish between but one in and cyclobutane. A reagent we can add here, but one in between, is a bromine water. Okay. In case of the but one in, if we add here bromine water, wherever we have the double bond, that there the addition of the bromine will take place okay right but with the cyclobutane yes. but with the cyclobutane the reaction will not take place no reaction with okay, cyclobutane sir. and the result will be okay. the reddish brown color or the bromine will get discharged okay will get discharged. Getting okay. Me? Yes, sir. But in the second case, in case of cyclohexane, the color of the bromine will remain same. It will not get discharged. Okay, sir. Right. Any more question? Second question, describe how alkene such as butuanine can be made from alkanes. Okay. If I have an alkane like butane, yes, sir. I, I want to make butene. So what we do, I will add here a chlorine 
in the presence of light i'll get here two chlorobutene and then i'll add her alcoholic potassium hydroxide this causes the hydrogen and halogen removal and it will form an alkene okay so it's a two step process that can be done okay sir <coughs> Name the product formed and put one in direct with the with bromine. See it, uh, here, I have shown the first case. It is a one yeah. to one to dibromobutane. All right. Yes, sir. If to this alkene, I add hydrogen, the double bond will get uh, single bond. Okay. And that will be the product will be the butane. Oh, okay. Right. Steam is water, so butanol will be formed. Okay. Sir. Hydrogen will be added at a double bond. It can be butane one all. It can be butane two all also. Okay, sir. But butane two all will be the major product. Okay. This is the minor product. Yes, sir. <coughs> Sorry. That's it. Uh, I had this another question here. Can you see my screen? Uh, one second. No, sir. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Now you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Fuel cells are used in spacecraft to produce electrical energy and some diagram is given right how is yes, oxygen sir. obtained from liquid air by the liquefaction of air uh, I don't know what that is yeah, liquefaction of air means what we do is uh, uh, liquefaction of air and then distillation Okay. I'll explain these two terms. It will become very clear. First of all, what we okay, do sir. is we compress the air and decrease the temperature. The air becomes liquid. I'll mm. get a liquid okay, air sir. if I compress the air and uh, temperature is decreased. And in that liquid air, we will have seventy-eight percent nitrogen, twenty point nine five percent oxygen. And some one percent other gases, and all these gases have okay. a different different boiling point. And if you start distilling it, oxygen will be obtained at a particular temperature. It will okay, be sir. it will start boiling off and converting to vapor state at a particular temperature. Right? Okay, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Hydrogen and oxygen react to form water. Give an example of bond breaking in the above reaction. <coughs> Give an example of bond breaking in the above reaction. Um, bond breaking, yeah. In the bond breaking, the H and H will be broken up into H atoms, and O. Yes, sir. This will be broke breaking up, right? Yes, sir. This is the example of the above reaction. Bond formation will take place between the H and OH. Mm, yes, sir. Right. Is this reaction is the change given in the first reaction and the above reaction exothermic? Yes, it is exothermic. Exothermic means yeah. heat is released. Releasing heat. Yes, sir. 
give two reason why hydrogen may be considered for the idle gas in future number one reason is no pollution if such type okay. of batteries are formed will have no pollution number two this hydrogen has a very high fuel efficiency it means very less amount of the fuel very less amount of uh, hydrogen gives a large amount of energy it is a very okay, high sir. fuel efficiency getting me yes sir Okay sir you can do you have more question to share uh the last question is there give two reasons why hydrogen yeah oh wait okay uh i didn't there's after that there's another question it suggests a reason why hydrogen is not widely used at the moment yeah because uh, that hydrogen is uh, highly reactive it is difficult okay. to handle easily so if it is given to the common man it he may not be able to handle it uh, carefully and it will cause a accidents and a plastic reaction will take place okay that is why it is not given to the human uh, mankind uh, like for the practical purpose okay right hmm. any more question okay uh, yes sir i'll share the screen helium is a metal in group 3 it has oxidation state of plus 1 and plus 3 with the formula of the thallium compound thallium 1 sulfide tl is a symbol sulfide yes so sulfide has a minus 2 charge right thallium has a uh, plus 1 charge sulfide has a minus 2 charge so the formula will yes, be tl 2s right yes sir thallium chloride thallium has a plus 1 charge plus 3 charge chlorine has a minus 3 charge so the formula will be tlcl3 okay sir yes thallium 1 chloride is insoluble in water complete the description of for preparation of the pure sample of this salt um is insoluble in water right mix mm, yes, sodium sir. chloride and thallium sulfate in water white ppt is formed so how will you get it filter uh, filter it filter yeah then dry. wash the residue yeah wash the residue and dry dry right okay yes sir wash the residue and then dry that's it okay sir why thallium chloride is ex when ex thallium chloride is exposed to light photochemical reaction takes place it changes from white solid to violet solid name another metal halide that changes color when exposed to light give major use of this metal halide do you have an example do you have an answer for this one uh i don't know sir because it's very very uh, typical question of cramming uh violet Do you have answer for this question? Uh yes sir I have it. Yeah. 
I'm showing you right now. Okay, that's better. Uh, this is what it's given. Okay. Silver chloride, silver bromide, yes, you have to remember it like this. Okay. Right. And it is used in the uh, photographic cameras. But right now this is not used because now we have a digital cameras. Okay. It, it was the old system of uh, photography when we, when we used to have uh, reels, you know, Kodak reels were there. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, the old system of uh, photography. Okay. Right. So, any more question? Uh. A piece of paper coated with thallium chloride is exposed to bright light. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you have. I have not copied down. I was showing it from there itself. Oh. Let me copy down. It'll be better. Yes, sir. Now you can stop sharing. Okay. A piece of paper, copper, coated with helium chloride, is exposed to bright light. Suggest two ways of increasing time. It takes the violet color to appear. Okay, sir. Um. What can be done? Basically, it's a photochemical reaction. Oh yes, what you can do is you decrease the voltage, decrease the intensity of light. Okay. Right. Another is uh, you can increase the distance between the lamp and the paper. Okay. How would? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Understood. Uh, check it from your answer. Is this the same thing or something different is given? Uh, one second, sir. Yes, it's correct. Same thing is given there? Yeah, it's okay. uh, increasing the distance, uh, low voltage, yeah. lower the temperature. Yes. D part. Helium okay. hydroxide is an alkali. It has similar property to sodium hydroxide. Complete the following word equation. Helium hydroxide, helium sulfate. It will give uh, helium sulfate and ammonium hydroxide. Okay. What is the uh, oxidation state for thallium sulfate? It's a plus one. Of thallium in plus it's a plus one. one. Okay. It's already given here. It'll okay. give here ammonium, It'll stay am like ammonium and water. Okay. Ammonia and water. Okay, sir. Right? Uh, you can write in the word equation. I have written the symbol equation here. Okay, sir. <clears throat> this is the thallium hydroxide and so it will form a thallium sulfate plus two water molecule it 
Is this clear? Yes, sir. Any more doubt? Any more question? Should I close it now? Uh, one second, sir. Uh, yeah, there's one more page. I'll uh, share. Share my screen. Okay, sir. Aluminum was first isolated using sodium. Aluminum obtained by this method was more expensive than gold. Suggest an explanation okay. why aluminum was so expensive. why aluminum was so expensive do you have an answer for this question uh, it says that <coughs> is sodium is expensive or difficult to obtain sodium yes yes yes, yes. Uh, problems getting electricity yeah so and high energy costs in extraction of sodium yes yes that is why it was expensive because sodium in the to obtain sodium in the pure form it required a lot of steps that require a lot of energy that is why it is expensive right yes sir the modern method for extracting aluminum is the electrolysis of uh, molten electrolyte Aluminum oxide dissolved in cryolite. Aluminum oxide decomposes like this. Both reactions are made of carbon. Why give two reasons? Why? Just a minute. Um, why the oxide is dissolved in cryolite? See, the cryolite has two functions here. Now, one function is it decreases the melting point of uh, aluminum okay melting point of alumina alumina is al2o3 and second reason okay. is it increases the conductivity okay it increases how the does it yeah uh, how would it decrease the melting point it's a property of uh, it's a property of the cryolite any compound that gives ions that decreases the melting point you can add here any other any other compound also but that should be ionic in nature melting point decreases okay yeah it is just like this if we add some salt to water the boiling point increases okay and if you add some salt to water the freezing point depresses Depression, depression, freezing point. Okay. Right. Okay, sir. Complete the ionic equation for the fall reaction at the anode. So it's oxide ion giving oxygen. Make it uh, two and two. Right. Okay, sir. Why yeah, do the carbon anode need to be replaced frequently? Because the oxygen produced react with the carbon oxygen to form a carbon dioxide. So the carbon get get oxidized. The carbon lining decreases. So the anode okay, has sir. to be replaced again and again. Right? Yes, sir. Right. This is... Any more question? 
Uh, no, sir, that's it.